Hi YouTube family, hope everybody is doing really good. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I got some really nice uh, comments uh, on the last couple of videos which I posted in the vlog series. Uh, uh, one with uh, respect to Yes Bank and the other with respect to Ireland FS and uh, how the housing finance sector as a whole is under a lot of pressure uh, because of uh, rating downgrades and all. So it really works as a motivation, you know, when uh, uh, I do some analysis and you like it, you get to learn something from it and it motivates me to make some more uh, fruitful videos for everybody out there. And uh, this is how we have to learn and grow. And uh, today I am going to uh, make another very, very uh, productive and useful video for all of you who uh, are basically looking to make investments in equity market. And uh, I have always told you that uh, um, uh, I personally am uh, more into fundamental analysis. Uh, whenever I am recommending stocks to my clients and investor wise, I will always go for fundamental analysis of stocks. And uh, I have a, a set of parameters, set of yardsticks, which I will uh, go through. And only if the stock meets majority of those parameters uh, on a positive note, only then I recommend those stocks to my clients. And that is why I always tell all my clients that the shares which are recommended by us may not perform within a particular period of time but as an investor if you hold tight onto your stocks in long term they will give you return it's as simple as that so if fundamentally something is good then you need not worry about it and if you're just buying stocks based on rumors based on uh, some uh, gut feeling of yours uh, right then in that case i feel uh, chances are like you are doing more or less a gamble kind of a thing and you never know whether you will make profit or loss on your trade then it is not investment it is trading and trading do involve speculation also okay so a question which i uh, get very frequently is what are the things you look for in a stock when you recommend it okay so as i told you i will have a set of 18 to 20 different parameters obviously i can't discuss all of them with you uh, in one video okay but uh, i am telling you five uh, such parameters which uh, are like the top priority for me they they, con they consist of the highest weightage when i am giving a buy recommendation on a particular stock mai sabse pehle ye panch factors ko hi consider karta hu aur agar ye panch factors mere liye positive hai most of the times i will give a buy recommendation on the stock that's how i do it so let's start with it first what i will do is i'll give you uh, the list of factors which i personally look for in a stock listen to me patiently listen to me uh, with 100% focus and this video will turn out to be very fruitful for you i promise to you and then at the end of the video what i will do is i will pick up one stock okay from my end which i feel meets all these criteria i will show it to you prove it to you with the help of numbers and then obviously from my end that's a strong buy recommendation keeping 6 months to 1 year time horizon in mind okay let's start with it so the first thing that i will look for in a stock is its 52 week low and 52 week high this data is publicly available. It is easily available. Any um, uh, equity related uh, mobile application if you have or even if you uh, tune into Google uh, and search for a stock, you can easily find this data. For every stock, we have 52 week high or 52 week low ka data available. Hota hai. I personally koi bhi stock ko 52 week high ke kareeb jab hota hai to recommend nahi karta hun, no matter how good the fundamentals are, no matter how promising the future guidance for the stock is. The thing is, the irony is that a stock becomes more, uh, the stock comes more in projection, the stock comes more in limelight when it is trading close to its 52 week high. A stock has hit its 52 week high because definitely some really good news would have come out, right? Because of which maybe their profits have gone up, maybe they're going for a merger, maybe they're going for some expansion plans. Uh, so this is like uh, uh, the reason why a stock has already hit its 52 week high. And if even if I keep hearing some more good news for the stock, I will still not give a buy recommendation when the stock is close, close to its 52 week high. 
ओके ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो दी लॉजिक फॉर द सेम द लॉजिक इज़ वेरी सिंपल मेरे को ये लगता है कि मार्केट में बहुत सारे स्टॉक्स हैं बहुत सारे अच्छे स्टॉक्स हैं जिनका फंडामेंटल्स बहुत बढ़िया है जैसे मेरी वॉच लिस्ट में मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ मेरी वॉच लिस्ट में आई हैव मोर देन फोर हंड्रेड स्टॉक्स मोर देन फोर हंड्रेड स्टॉक्स विच आई एम विच आई एम ट्रैकिंग ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस एंड आई फील दीज ऑल दीज स्टॉक्स आर गुड येस टेम्पररी अप्स एंड डाउन्स होता रहेगा बट दीज स्टॉक्स ओवरऑल कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज फंडामेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टॉक्स तो मेरा ये मानना है कि हर अच्छा स्टॉक आपको कभी ना कभी एक मौका देगा बाय करने का हमें करेक्शन के लिए वेट करना है हमें राइट right टाइम के लिए वेट करना है एंड दैट इज दैट इज नेवर गोइंग टू बी द पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम जहाँ पे स्टॉक 52 टू वीक हाई पे ट्रेड कर रहा है बिकॉज द स्टॉक इज एट इट्स पिनेकल पॉइंट दैट इज नॉट द पॉइंट एट विच आई वॉन्ट टू एंटर इन टू दिस स्टॉक अनदर लॉजिक फॉर दिस इज दैट वाई डू आई अवॉइड स्टॉक्स एट दियर फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई इज बिकॉज फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई के पास ना स्टॉक बहुत ज़्यादा सेंसिटिव हो जाता है यहाँ पे इवन इफ यू गेट वन नॉट अ बैड न्यूज बट एन अनफेवरेबल न्यूज एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पीपल बिकम सो सेंसिटिव टू सच बैड न्यूज दैट दे विल स्टार्ट डूइंग प्रॉफिट बुकिंग एंड इमीजिएटली क्रैश इन द प्राइस विल हैपन सो आई जनरली अवॉइड स्टॉक्स एट दियर फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई ठीक है जैसे अगर आपने मेरे से पूछा कि सर मुझे ये स्टॉक बाय करना है क्या मैं अभी इसे बाय कर सकता हूँ फर्स्ट थिंग आई विल डू इज आई विल गो एंड लुक फॉर इट्स फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई एंड लो इफ द स्टॉक इज क्लोज टू इट्स फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई आई विल प्रॉबली ट्राई टू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम इट ठीक है ओके देन कम्स 52 टू वीक लो ऑब्वियसली स्टॉक वुड हैव हिट 52 टू वीक लो फॉर सम नेगेटिव न्यूज नाउ वट आई विल डू इज आई विल ट्राई टू रीड इन टू दैट न्यूज एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डैमेजिंग द न्यूज इज इज द न्यूज जस्ट क्रिएटिंग अ टेम्पररी प्रेशर ऑन द स्टॉक और इज इट लाइक गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉन्ग लास्टिंग इम्पैक्ट If it is having a temporary impact, then that impact has already been captured by the stock. That is why it is trading close to its 52-week low. Then from there, what I will do is I will watch it for a few days, and once it stabilizes, and I and I feel that other fundamentals are intact. Those fundamentals I am going to discuss with you today. If I feel the other fundamentals are intact, then in that case I will prefer to buy the stock close to its 52-week low, because I always feel. Every good stock will give you an opportunity, and I want to take maximum advantage of that opportunity. So I will try to put my money into this stock when it is close to its 52-week low. Maybe not exactly at 52-week low, but close to its 52-week low, and quite away from 52-week high. Okay. All the time I've been tracking market now for a decade or so, and I've always felt I have never seen a situation, no matter how much. बूम इज देयर इन दी मार्केट कितना भी मार्केट बुलिश हो जाए कितना भी मार्केट जैसे अभी आप इंडेक्स देख लो इंडेक्स इज क्लोज टू इट्स ऑल टाइम हाई स्टिल आई कैन गिव यू हंड्रेड्स ऑफ स्टॉक्स विच आर फंडामेंटली वेरी गुड एंड स्टिल दे आर ट्रेडिंग क्लोज टू दियर फिफ्टी टू वीक लो सो वी ऑलवेज हैव सच स्टॉक्स वेर यू कैन इजिली रिलाय ऑन दिस स्टॉक एंड यू कैन पुट योर मनी इन टू इट ओके सो दिस दैट्स वाई आई से Uh, people ask me what is the good time to invest in the market i say all time is good time to invest in the market because you always have some stocks trading close to their 52 week low okay so this is the first thing i look for in a stock and i hope this point is clear to everybody out there second thing that i look for is the pe ratio now i'll just give you small understanding okay if you're not a finance guy you won't um, uh, uh, like uh, so much of explanation but small understanding is important kyunki sir aap apna paisa market mein laga rahe ho and if you are not taking services from some expert then it's important that you know all these technicals which are not so much technical it's very easy to understand price to earning ratio is pe ratio main pe ratio mein kya karta hu jo current price hota hai na share ka usko numerator mein leta hu aur usko divide karta hu eps se company ne jo bhi last apna eps declare kiya tha earning declare kiya tha theek hai ye profit loss se aapko data milega jahan pe last mein ई का कंप्यूटेशन किया रहता है एक बेसिक ई होता है एक डाइल्यूटेड ई होता है आप ई को लेते हो डिनोमिनेटर में प्राइस को लेते हो न्यूमिनेटर में एंड यू कंप्यूट पीई रेशियो एक शेयर होल्डर के लिए ना सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है कंपनी का अर्निंग्स का जो ग्राफ है वो कैसा है तो कहीं ना कहीं या तो देखिए अगर आपको कुछ नहीं समझ में आता आप ई को देखो बट ई थोड़ा थोड़ा आ, मतलब कि कंपेयर करने के लिए ना या अनालिसिस करने के लिए थोड़ा ब्लैंक फिगर है मतलब वी डोंट गेट अ वेरी गुड सिग्नल और मैसेज जस्ट बाय लुकिंग एट ई इसलिए हम क्या करते हैं हम पी रेशियो लेते हैं अर्निंग्स के मुकाबले आपके शेयर का प्राइस कितना है दैट इज पी रेशियो प्राइस डिवाइड बाय अर्निंग जैसे एग्जांपल लेता हूं सिंपल सा अर्निंग है कंपनी की पचास रुपये पर शेयर ई पी अर्निंग पर शेयर पचास रुपये शेयर का दाम मार्केट में भी चल रहा है पाँच सौ 
तो हर एक रुपया जो अर्निंग आप कमा रहे हो उसके लिए कितना रुपया मेरे को पे करना पड़ रहा है तो सिंपल है पी रेशियो कैलकुलेट करेंगे प्राइस डिवाइड बाय अर्निंग 500 सौ डिवाइड बाई पचास विच विल गिव यू टेन टाइम्स पी ई रेशियो विच मीन्स फॉर एवरी वन रुपी ऑफ अर्निंग दैट कंपनी इज जनरेटिंग दे आर आस्किंग यू टू पे अ प्राइस ऑफ टेन रुपीज अच्छा ये पी ई रेशियो अच्छा है खराब है ज़्यादा होना चाहिए कम होना चाहिए इसके लिए क्या करते हैं हम एक शेयर का पी ई रेशियो देखते हैं और हम उसे इंडस्ट्री एवरेज से कंपेयर करते हैं अब ये इंडस्ट्री एवरेज पी ई रेशियो क्या होता है जैसे अगर मैं एस बी आई का पी ई रेशियो देखता हूँ तो मैं एस बी आई के पी ई रेशियो को कंपेयर करूँगा इंडस्ट्री के पी ई रेशियो के साथ जैसे उस इंडस्ट्री के अंदर आई सी आई सी आई बैंक भी है पी एन बी भी है उसके अंदर एच डी एफ सी बैंक भी है उसके अंदर येस बैंक भी है उसके अंदर बैंक ऑफ बड़ोडा भी है तो इंडस्ट्री का जो पी ई रेशियो है उससे हम स्टॉक के पी ई रेशियो को कंपेयर करेंगे अगर एक स्टॉक ओवरऑल फंडामेंटली अच्छा है इफ़ आई फील दैट स्टॉक इज़ फंडामेंटली गुड एंड स्टिल इट्स पी ई रेशियो इज लो एज कम्पेयर टू इंडस्ट्री एवरेज सपोज करिए द कमिंग बैक टू माई एग्जाम्पल I said the PE ratio for let's say stock of uh, let's say Tata Motors. Tata Motors का PE ratio टेन times है तो मैं industry average लूँगा Industry average means I will try to compare PE ratio of Tata Motors with other stocks belonging to the same industry. That is auto sector के साथ compare करूँगा जिसमें Maruti है M&M एंड एम है एस्कॉट्स है ये सब शेयर से कंपेयर करूँगा और सपोज करिए इस पूरी इंडस्ट्री का जो एवरेज पी ई रेशियो है दैट इज़ फिफ्टीन टाइम्स मतलब इंडस्ट्री में जो शेयर्स हैं उसमें हर एक रुपए की अर्निंग के लिए आपको पंद्रह रुपया देना पड़ रहा है पर टाटा मोटर के केस में आपको सिर्फ दस रुपया देना पड़ रहा है तो कहीं ना कहीं अगर बाकी सारे फंडामेंटल्स टाटा मोटर्स के अच्छे हैं तो मेरे लिए ये शेयर अपीलिंग है मेरे लिए ये शेयर अच्छा शेयर है अट्रैक्टिव शेयर है क्योंकि इसका पी ई रेशियो कम है आप सोचिए ना एज अ शेयर होल्डर तो आप पैसा दोगे शेयर खरीदोगे ना तो आप ज़्यादा देना चाहते हो कि कम देना चाहते हो ऑब्वियसली यू वुड ट्राई टू बार्गेन फॉर अ लोअर प्राइस For a good fundamental stock share, right? For a good fundamentally uh, trading stock, तो मैं यहाँ पे क्या करूँगा What I will do is I will compare Tata Motors का PE ratio with the industry average, and if I see that Tata Motors has decent fundamentals, but still its PE ratio is on the lower side, then that makes a stock for, uh, uh, attractive for me, and I will give a buy recommendation for it. Again, I am repeating myself. that i don't look at any of these fundamentals in isolation i have to look at all these parameters cons- on a consolidated basis i have to look at them on a totality basis i am right now breaking them down and just giving you an understanding of each of these parameters right so first thing that i will look for is 52 week high and low second thing i will look for is the pe ratio of a stock and i will compare that pe ratio with the industry average these datas are easily available online okay third thing that i will look for is the price to book value ratio this is another interesting and important uh, uh, factor which i look for always in the stock is price to book value to pehle aapko ye samajhna hai dekhiye same hai pe ratio ki tarah hi hai we take price of the share current market price of the share in the numerator divide by the book value of the share to ye book value kahan se aata hai dekhiye aapko available ho jayega ye sara data online ab money control ke app pe bhi aapko mil jayega edelweiss ke app pe bhi mil jayega koi bhi app any app you download you will find all this data available you need not work out these numbers Until unless you are working for a company in the finance profile, you find all these figures as an investor. So book value is basically the net worth of the company divided by total number of shares of the company. Net worth. Now the question is, sir, what is net worth? Net worth is the total money of the shareholder in the company. Company may okay. I know it's getting a little heavy, but you need to know all these things so that you can make investments by yourself. Company may shareholder ne kitna paisa diya. और कंपनी का टोटल प्रॉफिट्स कितना एक्यूमुलेट हुआ दैट इज रिजर्व्स एंड सरप्लस सो नेट वर्थ इज बेसिकली शेयर कैपिटल व्हाट मनी हैज बीन गिवन बाय शेयर होल्डर्स टू बाय द शेयर्स प्लस रिजर्व्स दिस टोटल बिकम्स नेट वर्थ वेरी सिंपल शेयर कैपिटल द मनी गिवन बाय शेयर होल्डर्स टू द कंपनी प्लस रिजर्व्स एंड सरप्लस द टोटल प्रॉफिट्स एक्यूमुलेटेड बाय द कंपनी इन ऑल दीज इयर्स एडेड टुगेदर डिवाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स दैट इज बुक वैल्यू बुक वैल्यू रिप्रेजेंट्स द वर्थ ऑफ अ शेयर होल्डर इन द कंपनी book value per share for every share what is what is the worth of that share in the company compared to that book value what is the price of the share in the comp- uh, in the market right so suppose if book value of a share is 40 rupees book value of a share is 40 rupees that is for every shareholder company has a worth of 40 rupees for every one share held by you एक शेयर के लिए कंपनी में आपका वर्थ कितना है चालीस रुपये पर कंपनी का शेयर मार्केट में ट्रेड कितने में कर रहा है सपोज कंपनी स्टॉक इज राइट नॉट ट्रेडिंग इन दी मार्केट एट फोर एट्टी सो वॉट इज प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू इज फोर एट्टी डिवाइड बाय 
40 which is 12 times for, for um, I hope I am right for yes 12 times so price to book value is 12 times in this case which means for every one rupee of worth which you have in the share uh, in the uh, company you have to pay 12 times the price to buy the share of the company right now obviously agar price to book value ratio bahut jyada hai then i don't prefer it i always prefer price to book value ratio on a lower side theek hai i prefer price to book value ratio on a lower side lower the price to book value ratio good for me because book value represents my worth of share in the company and price is what i need to pay for that share so price to book value ratio again close to 1 is good but again if you are comparing price to book value ratio i personally recommend that compare the price to book value ratio of the stock with the industry average you can pick up few stocks from the industry and compare then that is more meaningful for you okay next important factor which we need to consider is the profitability of the company for profitability i personally look at three things okay profitability overall profitability profitability i look at three things the first is i simply take 3 to 5 years ka data 3 to 5 years ka data i will take and i will simply compare the profit the net profit which company is having consolidated profit okay one more important thing you need to understand is when you go to the applications like money control or edelweiss or angel broking you will find that profit figures are reported stand alone ek company ka stand alone kitna hai aur ek consolidated matlab all the group companies ka total figures kitna hai it's recommended that you look at the consolidated figures so what first thing i will do is i'll compare 2015 2014 se leke 2018 2019 mein trend kaisa hai profit ka how the profit graph has moved during these years if profits have continuously grown at a particular rate i will be happy as an investor okay i will find that as a positive from all or during all these years if the profits have gone up okay but then you need to be very careful and look for two things one is exceptional item one is extraordinary item if you see suddenly profit has gone up by a huge margin by a huge margin you should look for any exceptional item in this year sometimes what happens is company would have sold its assets company would have sold its division अगर ऐसा कुछ होगा तो दे विल गेट लॉड ऑफ मनी एट वन गो बिकॉज ऑफ विच मे बी देर प्रॉफिट हैव गॉन अप ओके सो यू नीड टू रिमूव दैट एक्सेप्शनल आइटम वाई इज इट कॉल्ड एक्सेप्शनल आइटम इट इज कॉल्ड एक्सेप्शनल आइटम बिकॉज दैट मनी इज रिसीव्ड बाय यू ऑन एन एक्सेप्शनल बेसिस इट्स नॉट योर प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन इट इज अ प्रॉफिट ऑन एन एक्सेप्शनल बेसिस you have done a transaction which is non recurring in nature that is it will not happen every year you will not so sell your pl uh, plant or you will not sell your division every year so this profit should be removed from your regular recurring profit and then comparison should be done okay apart from this i look for two more factors in the profitability one is return on net worth नेट वर्थ अभी अभी मैंने आपको समझाया नेट वर्थ इज शेयर कैपिटल प्लस रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस आई विल सी रिटर्न ऑन नेटवर्थ रिटर्न ऑन नेटवर्थ इज टोटल प्रॉफिट डिवाइड बाई नेटवर्थ इन टू हंड्रेड दिस फिगर इज अगेन इजली अवेलेबल ऑन दी डिफरेंट वेबसाइट्स यू कैन पब्लिकली इन पब्लिक इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस सेम इज अवेलेबल यू कैन फाइंड इट ऑन एनी ऑनलाइन पोर्टल कंपनी विल गिव देयर रिटर्न ऑन नेटवर्थ Uh, um, uh, for each and every quarter as well as for every year so return on net worth is another important key factor which you should look at what is the total profit divided by net worth of the company again return on net worth can be compared at two levels one is that you can compare the net worth uh, return on net worth for a stock by comparing with the previous year maybe 3 to 4 years data you can look at to make the comparison similarly return on net worth can be compared across the stocks belonging to the same sector like if i am talking about itc i will compare return on net worth of itc maybe with another fmcg stock like hul dabur britannia nestle these are the stocks with which i will make the comparison similarly like we have return on net worth we can also use another profitability ratio which is return on capital employed okay now that i introduced another term for you return on capital employed capital employed is total net worth plus debt which company has taken from outside any outside debt that is long term debt which company has taken that is return on capital employed your total earnings divided by capital employed that is net worth plus long term debt and we calculate this ratio again you can compare for the stock by comparing with previous 3 to 5 years or you can also compare with stocks belonging to the same 
sector okay lastly my fifth important point that i will look for is the debt of the company and i will see both their secured and unsecured loans this figure is available in the balance sheet i will look for secured and unsecured loans in the balance sheet aur main compare karunga ki company ne over the years kitna loan market se uthaya hai and i will see if the loan they have taken from the market whether it's secured or unsecured loan if the loan has gone up but in the same proportion or at a higher proportion if profit is not going up for the company then that is a warning signal that any time company might feel pressure because dekhiye jitna zyada loan rahega utna zyada aapko interest ka payment bhi karna hai isliye too much of loan is also bad so what i will do is again i have two important parameters here that i look for one is i will compare the total debt outstanding for a company by comparing with past few years and second thing that i do is i personally use one of the ratios to find out if the uh, interest uh, burden is too much or less that is i find out interest coverage ratio what is this interest coverage ratio interest coverage ratio is ebit earnings before interest and taxes total earnings available for the company we use ebit in earnings before interest and taxes that divide by the total interest expenses for the company har saal unko kitna interest pay karna hai hum earnings ko interest se divide karte hain aur jitna zyada earnings hoga hamare liye utna acha hai kyunki hum us earnings mein se hi interest ka payment karte hain to ratio jitna upar hoga utna hamare liye acha hai ratio jitna niche aayega utna hamare liye kharab hai तो डेट के लिए मैं दो चीज करता हूं मैं डेट को कंपेयर करता हूं पास्ट के डेट से एंड नेक्स्ट व्हाट आई डू इज आई सी द इंटरेस्ट कवरेज रेशियो सो दीज आर द फर्स्ट फाइव थिंग्स आई ऑलवेज लुक फॉर इन अ स्टॉक व्हेन आई एम डूइंग फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस नंबर वन इज 52 टू वीक हाई एंड लो प्राइसिस फॉर द स्टॉक नंबर टू इज प्राइस टू अर्निंग रेशियो नंबर थ्री इज प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू नंबर फोर इज प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इन विच आई टेक टू रेशियोज Uh, two profitability uh, computations number one is return on net worth number two is return on capital employed and lastly i see is the loan that is the total debt which company has taken is too much of debt is bad you should be knowing that because all this is what i explained you with ireland fs example that too much of debt is the reason why the fall has happened for ireland fs isn't it so we have already uh, uh, discussed all these parameters the video is already 22 minutes but i want to continue with it and take one example where i incorporate all these five factors so that the video becomes more meaningful for you and please spare me excuse me if the topic has been heavy but then this is a uh, hard work which you have to do once in your lifetime once you learn this it becomes an asset for you once you learn this you become an independent investor and you can invest your money by yourself and if you still find this very complicated then you can obviously take services of kp advisory and uh, leave this on us we will do all this work for you and give you the stock advisory but if you are really keen to learn then these are the uh, important factors which you need to consider okay i'll just try to uh, take one example now my pick uh, for this analysis is mahindra and mahindra m and m and this company you know is from auto sector and i personally find it to be correctly priced right now with a with a holding period of uh, 6 to 12 months this stock i feel will definitely create some good returns for the investors okay so first thing is i'll look at its 52 week high and low prices its 52 week low price is 615 rupees and its 52 week uh, 52 week low price is 615 and 52 week high price is 993 rupees right now stock is trading at 636 rupees that is today's closing price okay is 636 rupees so this makes it interesting for me and i would like to dig in to uh, the further analysis for the stock because i told you no factor should be looked at in isolation this factor personally i feel is a positive signal for me because stock uh, is trading very close to its 52 week low and for me it becomes attractive provided it fulfills the other uh, factors which i am going to look into second is its pe ratio the pe ratio for the stock is 15.8 times approximately pe ratio is 16 times okay i have already explained you what is pe ratio pe ratio is price by earning so for every 1 rupee of earning a shareholder an investor has to pay 16 rupees is it low or is it high how do i know i will compare with industry average pe ratio that is industry matlab auto sector ke jo stocks hai unka average pe ratio hai 23.6 times 23.7 times in fact 
सो so, अगर एम एंड एम का पीई रेशियो सिर्फ 15.8 पॉइंट एट टाइम्स है पर इंडस्ट्री का पीई रेशियो इस ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट सेवन टाइम्स मतलब इंडस्ट्री में जो दूसरे स्टॉक्स हैं उनका इस समय जो प्राइस है वो ज़्यादा है और एम एंड एम का प्राइस नीचे है कंपेरेटिव बेसिस पे सो दिस अगेन बिकम्स अ पॉजिटिव सिग्नल फॉर मी सो टिल नॉट टू फैक्टर्स आई है कंसिडर्ड वन इज फिफ्टी टू वीक लो एंड हाई अनदर इज दी पी रेशियो बोथ आर फेवरेबल थर्ड इज प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू रेशियो प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू रेशियो एज ऑफ नो फॉर एम एंड एम इज वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव टाइम्स विच अगेन मेक्स इट लुक वेरी अट्रैक्टिव बिकॉज आई टोल्ड यू बुक वैल्यू है कि शेयर का वर्थ कितना है कंपनी में और उस वर्थ के लिए हम क्या प्राइस पे करना चाहते हैं तो इफ आई इफ आई लुक एट द प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू आई टोल्ड यू एनी थिंग क्लोज टू वन टू थ्री दिस इज लुकिंग फेवरेबल इससे ज़्यादा होगा तो थोड़ा महंगा है मेरे लिए स्टॉक वट आई डेड ओवर हेयर आई कंपेयर द प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू रेशियो ऑफ एम एंड एम With other stocks, okay. Listen to it carefully. I picked up Maruti as a competitor. Maruti has a price to book value ratio of 4.3 times. Listen carefully, okay. 1.75 for M and M, but for Maruti it is 4.3. Escort is the other stock I have taken. Escort, which is also into tractors uh, production, okay. So Escort has a, a price to book value of 3.6. And next stock I picked up is Aishur Motors. Aishur Motor has a, a price to book value ratio of close to eight. You can understand. Aishur close to eight, Escorts close to three point six, Maruti close to four point three, making M and M look really attractive at a price to book value ratio of just one point seven five. I hope you understand how this comparison has to be done. Okay. Next is profits. I told you when I am looking at profits, I will look at the consolidated profit of the company over a period of last three to four years. So what I did, I compared the net profit. of 2015 with the profit of 2018 for 2019 still the consolidated uh, figures are not available okay but if you compare with 2015 to 2018 the, the profits have more than doubled which is almost like 2.5 times 2015 they reported total profits of 3137 crores okay 3137 crores and in 2018 company has given a stupendous profit jump to 7500 crores so 3300 uh, 3100 uh, crores has transformed into 7500 crores i'm telling you rough figures understanding is more important 3100 crores has become 7500 crores and mind it i told you you should look for any exceptional items i don't feel there i i didn't find any exceptional items the exceptional items impact is not much which means the profits are mainly from the operations which is another very very positive thing for the company overall profit profits have gone up almost like 2.5 times okay i told you in profit i also tried to compare so i i found out the return on net worth return on net worth you remember the profits divided by money of the shareholders that is net worth that is share capital plus reserves return on net worth uh, for uh, m and m is 14.4% 14.4% and then what i did i compared it uh, with the uh, past few years so past few years 2015 was 12% 2016 was 12% close to 12% 2014 is uh, 20% okay so 20% uh, in 2014 uh, then it went to 2015 12 percent 2016 it went to 12 percent and in 2018 it has become 20 percent on a consolidated basis so if you compare these years overall return on net worth for the company has stayed in uh, 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 stayed uh, stable like from 2014 to 2015 and 16 it went down but again in 2018 it has picked up okay so which gives me Uh, a good picture that okay the return on net worth has again gone up for the company their return on capital employed in 2015 return on capital employed you remember is the total profits divided by net worth plus long term debt return on net worth in the year 2015 was only 5% so the money which they were generating was less at that point of time in 2018 it has become 12% which is a good news okay from 5% it has gone up to 12% so when you compare for the stock by comparing with past years it looks attractive but here i want to point out one thing when i looked at return on capital employed for maruti escorts and aishur i found that m and m is lagging behind okay now listen carefully what i am saying over here maruti has a return on capital employed of 21% aishur has 39% escorts has 23% 
but return on capital employed for prof, uh, that is for m and m is only 12% does this look negative my my uh, answer to you is it is not negative obviously it is less when compared to the other stocks but you need to understand probably there has to be something going un uh, uh, unfavorable for the company because of which its stock is beaten down i hope you understand so it's not that the moment i find one negative in a stock and i'm going to rule it out if you do that then you won't be able to put your money in any stock you need to understand overall profitability for the company has gone up which means company on a standalone basis is doing well return on net worth has also turned out to be good for the company when you compare return on capital employed with other companies then the other companies have reported a higher return which obviously make other companies more attractive but then that is the advantage you get in m and m because of the reason that profitability is low for m and m that is the reason why the stock is trading at a lower price also that is your advantage isn't it if i look at the debt from 2015 to 2018 the debt has gone up from 22000 crore to 33000 crores 22000 crores to 33000 crores how i look at it is that the debt has gone up by 1.5 times that is 50% is the rise in the debt 50% 22000 plus 50% if you do it will become 33000 when the debt has gone up by 50% the profits have almost gone up by 2.5 times from 31000 to 75000 so if my debt goes up but if the profits are going up in a higher proportion then i do not fear having debt in my books i hope you understood what i said agar aapka debt upar ja raha hai but at the same time profit usse zyada tezi se upar ja raha hai tab wo debt mere liye kharab nahi hai इस चीज को कंफर्म करने के लिए मैं इंटरेस्ट कवरेज रेशियो निकालता हूं और इंटरेस्ट कवरेज रेशियो इस समय जो है मैंने आपको बोला जितना ज्यादा होगा उतना बेहतर है 2015 से 2018 में जो इंटरेस्ट कवरेज रेशियो कंपनी का है वो 2.28 से ऊपर जाके 2.65 टाइम्स हो गया मतलब कंपनी का प्रॉफिट जो है अपने डेट को पे करने के लिए ज्यादा है विच इज अ गुड न्यूज आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड and when i look at all these factors in totality for me m and m is a very good buy at a current price of 636 rupees if you can hold it for a year or so you can definitely expect to generate some very good returns from this stock apart from this i will always prefer to look at the business model this is one bonus point i wanted to discuss and as far as the business model is concerned m and m is in the auto sector and auto sector is an evergreen sector slow uh, sl- uh, the uh, slow down can happen in the uh, industry but then the demand for cars the demand for tractors is something which is always going to remain intact it will be for some quarters it might go down and some quarters it might go up but overall it is going to stay stable plus the introduction of electric vehicles coming in is going to once increase the demand of this particular sector so we expect that overall m&m is very stable stock and when i look at these for factors i find the stock to be attractive and well priced to make investment in it okay so uh, go slow with this video listen to it if not once maybe you can listen to it twice but once you have good control on these five parameters i promise you you will find it very easy to pick up good stocks by yourself and you don't need anybody's suggestion then in that case okay if you have any uh, doubts you can uh, put them in the comment section below and i will try to answer you asap hope the video has been useful um, you can give me more suggestions on topics which you want me to cover in the videos till then bye bye god bless